All right, it's Mark here, just doing this, uh, some things have arrived for the Land Rover. Oh, guess what this is? If you're watching the other videos, then you know that we've got the wrong swivels on the car, so this little baby is a swivel with a bearing in the bottom, which was on the last one, and it's got a Railco bush top, so it's got no step in the top. Now that fits on that way, if you're looking at the front of the car, then this is the driver's side, so it fits towards the axle. And that's a little belt to that one. It's a solid bit of machinery, that one. Really good. And then, of course, the axle oil seal goes in there to keep the oil, so the grease in there and the oil in the axle. So that's all. That's gorgeous, that. Absolutely beautiful. So that's from Bearmac. So that's a nice new product. And we've got the rail cover, which is in. They, they fit in the other axle. I've got a 22L axle, so they've got 22L axles. Didn't know they were different, but now I know. And some steels arrived. So steels arrived. Now this little baby, this is two mil steel, and that's for the chassis uh, cross rails, the, the, all of the, the rails down from front to back. That's for them. So I've got a couple of repairs to do, and two mil is quite easy to bend and twist and hammer over my anvil, so that's gonna go to repair the holes in the chassis and the weak metal, I've got a couple of bits of weak metal. Then this sheet underneath is 1.2 mil and 1.2 mil is for the bulkhead. So that's um, better than factory, or as good, I should say, as good as factory really, not better, but as good. So two mil for the chassis and then 1.2 mil. Now we've got some floor forms coming in, that, you know, that the floor pans sweep up and that's where you put your feet in there. So I've got floor, forms already there because I've got the right creases in, they've got the right nuts and bolt holes and stuff in. This is for repair of the flat bits of the bulkhead, not any, um, we're not gonna crease anything, it's just flat bits to repair. And then of course this is gonna be shaped to the chassis. So uh, swivels on this weekend, probably Sunday, and then we're gonna start welding probably next week. So I'll show you some weld, we're gonna do invisible welds. So invisible welds are where, what we're gonna do is cut out the old metal, the weak metal, in a square or however it fits on the chassis, then cut the piece out of here and then put it in the gap and then hold it in with magnets, you know, welder's magnets, and then weld, butt weld the seam uh, around the square. Then we grind it down and then of course we flatten it with a grinding disc, uh, you know, a sanding disc, a 40 grit sanding disc, and then paint it and protect it and then uh, lano guard it on top of the paint to keep the water off and keep it protected. Now we also, what we do is we take the, the oil, the treatment off here, off the back of the patch. And then what we'll do is paint the back of the patch and line guard it. Now, you might think, well, actually when you weld it, it's gonna get hot and melt, but it doesn't. It, it, it does in the edges, of course it does, because you're welding, but in the middle, it'll protect it from, uh, you know, the inside the chassis when it goes on. That's the bulkhead bit, that's, that, that's actually that bit. So, my name's Mark, and I hope you're enjoying this so far. That's my new steel arrived with my new bits to go on. So this weekend, we're not doing this till next weekend, but we're doing that this weekend and rebuilding those front hubs. So they're better than factory. My name's Mark, see you soon.